Mm. Oh, I gotta go. So when will I see you again? You know, once this restraining order is there, you know, you won't be able to call me. Mm. You won't be able to come over. We can't run into each other. So you'll come see me when it's safe? I would give anything to not have to go out that door right now, you know that? Yeah. Well, um, I'll give you something to dream about. My underwear's the matching color. Oh. I really gotta go. <laughs> It took so long. Thanks for waiting. Uh, thanks are inappropriate when you have blackmailed someone into doing something. Em. I'm just trying to be polite here, okay? You know, if you don't want your money, it's, it's fine all, it's, all, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. Just give it to me straight. Did you kill Meg? No. Why, then, are we meeting in a garage? Where's your oh, you brought your toolbox. Yeah. See this little baby here? Yeah. Meg's car. <laughs> I'm not draining Meg's brake fluid. No, no, no. I'm not going to attach a, a bomb to her ignition. I'm not to open her car, Henry. No. Not even for your money? Not even to save Meg's life? You do this for me, Meg will be inconvenienced a little, far away from Paul, but alive. You don't do this for me. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. It's up to you. No, I, I, don't, I don't know why you're doing this. I don't, I don't. You, Paul married you. You have him. Yeah, and I plan to keep him. Okay, fine. Have it your way. So when Meg meets with an unfortunate accident, uh, you're only gonna have yourself to blame. Get out of the way. Okay, I'll leave this. Leave it. Do it for you. Whoa, that was fast. It's all on the wrist. What's that? You really want to know? No, t t do me a favor and just lose my number, okay? Wait, 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 I'm not finished yet. I have one more thing to ask of you. One teeny tiny little thing. Hello? Hi, Meg, it's Henry Coleman. What do you want? I need to tell you, I need to warn you about something. It's Emily, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's planning something. What? Not on the phone. I, um, I have proof, but uh, if Emily finds out... What kind of proof? Not now. Just meet me at the old mill. You know where that is? <laughs> yeah, why there? Because Emily is having you watched, so be careful. Just uh, take Route 5. No one uses that. It'll be easy to spot a tail. I'll do the same thing, okay? Uh, fine. Fine, I'll, I'll be there in half an hour. You satisfied? I will be. What do you want, Paul? Well, those cops over there apparently are too busy to help me. They said I should talk to a detective. Yeah, why? Kind of personal. Someone else I can talk to? How's in his office? Go on up, top of the stairs. Yeah, I know where his office is. You know where his ex-wife is? Oh, that's right, you're married to her now. Yeah? You got a problem with that, Chad? No, I have a problem with you. Let your sister believe that her baby was dead, and he wasn't. And let everyone else believe that you were dead, and... Well, you're not. Tell everyone you murdered Dusty Donovan. And I didn't. I know all this, Jack. I don't need to hear about it from you. Huh. Yeah, yes. So, what is so personal? Why don't you come by tomorrow? Maybe uh, there'll be some friendlier cops around. You need a restraining order. You need protection. From whom? Your cousin, Meg. Is 
Is everything okay, officer? You have an idea how fast you were going, ma'am? The speed limit, I thought. I need to see your driver's license, vehicle registration, proof of insurance, please. Are you sure I was speeding, officer? I mean, I haven't gotten a ticket in years. Mrs. Snyder, we received a report that a car matching this description cut another vehicle off a couple miles back. They said that you were driving erratically. Um, no, it, it wasn't me. I haven't seen another car on this road since I turned on it. Well, apparently they saw you. They gave us the first three digits of your tag. It wasn't me. Stay here, ma'am. Where are you going? Just procedure. Be back in a few minutes. What are you sitting up here, Paul? trying to make Meg to look like some kind of nutcase you can frame her for whatever you did to Dusty? No. You and Meg have something going. I can see that. Hell, anybody with eyes can see that. You're wrong. And apparently Emily can see that too. So either you're distancing yourself from Meg because now you've decided that Emily is more useful, or Emily's jealous and you're trying to throw her off the scent. Emily and I are very happy. <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> You gonna lecture me about marriage, Jack? Now, how about you get started on the restraining order, or uh, I can run upstairs and get you demoted again. <laughs> okay, I'll get you the restraining order. No problem at all. Because the best thing that could ever happen to my cousin is to be forced to stay the hell away from you. These tests aren't conclusive. I'll tell you what, you mind if I take a look inside your car? You're not gonna find an open flask or drugs in my car. You can refuse. That would be within your rights. But you take me in. Yes, ma'am. Okay, when you don't find anything, can I go? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Search your heart out. satisfied yes ma'am put your hands on the roof of the car please what put your hands on the roof of the car i don't understand what's going on what did you find you're under arrest i didn't expect to see you here let's just check in check and see how the restraining order was coming along yeah the, the cops are all busy so jack snyder is taking care of it oh is he giving you a hard time no, meg is his cousin that's okay. You know, if we don't get it tonight, we can take care of it tomorrow. I thought this was really bothering you. It was. And then I started remembering how amazing it was when we made love this morning. And I realized we're together. Nothing can change that. Not Meg. Not anything. As long as you love me. What did you find? Will you tell me I have nothing illegal in my car? No drugs, no alcohol, nothing. You're right. There is nothing illegal here. Okay, so what's the problem? Bloody clothes, ma'am. Whose are they? I've got something very special planned for when we get home. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What's that? The continuation of our honeymoon. It's taking Jack so long anyway. I don't know. So tell me more about your plans. Oh, well, they start something like this. I don't believe it. Meg's been arrested again? What, what'd she do this time? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. No, 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 honey. I don't think we should. That's really not our problem. On the phone, please. There's a payphone in holding. I know. I've used it. I'm not authorized. Well, then find someone who is. 
Who's what? The minute Meg Snyder leaves that station, I want that restraining order enforced. I don't want her anywhere near me or my wife. You got that? <sighs> wow. Well, according to the Times, Meg's not a problem anymore. Uh, they're just questioning her. Yeah, today questioning, tomorrow life. Yeah, yeah well, here's hoping. Hmm. And all poor Dusty did was dump her. Yeah, listen, uh, uh, I gotta go out for a little while. Where? Where are you? Where are you going? Well, my my license has expired, and then you know I got I got to file for, for that extension. Oh, the taxes. Well, I'll go with you. No, come on. We don't both need to be bored. <laughs> when are we ever bored? When we're together. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't move. Okay, I gotta get my file. Don't move.